Welcome everybody to Fresh Start. Fresh Start is what we're going to be taking a look at today. What is Fresh Start? Well, feel good post op apocalyptic simulator of cleaning up and repairing a fallen world in single player fps mode apparently clean polluted environment repair renovate and turn on objects long forgotten by time make new friends take care of nature or even plant a forest give these places a fresh start so yeah fresh start it is um let me just say this is developed by chicken launcher and published by awaken realms a big shout out to the publishers for being able to send me a key and show this off early for all of you so that you guys can think about adding it to your wish list and picking it up when it is released. When is it released? Well, it will be coming out in early access on October 11th. So uh, if you like what you see in today's uh, stream and you really want to play it for yourself, add it to your wish list and schedule your time for October 11th. With that being said, um, if you do enjoy what you see in today's video, please make sure to also hit the like button for me. I would really appreciate that. And uh, with that being said, I guess we can just jump into some fresh start. Cleaning simulator. Empty slot it is. Hit me with the koala. I'm all for it. So hi there. Uh, press WASD to move. And then hold it to, sh to shift. Okay, right mou mouse button to suck up water. Oh. You damn well know. Uh, left mouse button to spray. All right. Okay, cool. Um, right mouse button to suck up the trash. E to interact with the stations. Okay, first things first. Let me just move my forehead out of the way so that you can see. Apparently, there is, like, some currency in this game, it looks like. I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to make myself bigger, too, if you don't mind. Yeah, so interesting enough, right? Okay, so interact with the station. E? Oh, this what the, the, the trash goes in there, yeah? And then we get money? Oh, we get that? Pick up the plank? One plank. Repair the bridge. One plank. Okay. Hold left butt, left mouse button to water objects. Oh, I still have objects. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Water the tree, yeah? Water the tree. Can I water the tree? There you go. There you go. A little bit of thirsty time. There you go. One more. Oh, look at that. Yes. What about a bush? Can we do a bush? Very cool. All right. All right. Very neat. Okay, so 36 gold we have now. All right. Press N to restore nature. Where's the nature gauge? Oh, you see at the top of my head? 100%, you press N to restore it. Yeah. We restore nature. So I guess that's the gist of the game, yeah? Press tab to open up the skill menu. Holy crap. Purchase the skill by selecting it with the left mouse button. Okay. How many skills do we have? Wait, 200? We have 200? Okay, crafting cost, 200. What is this? 9,999 haunted ghosts. Okay, I don't think we're supposed to have that quite yet. I see. It's, that's, it's, it's, it's working from bottom to top. Bottom to top, not top to bottom. Got it. Um, bigger water tank. Sounds cool. Sprinter shoes um, and bigger backpack. I'll, I'll go with the bigger water, please. There we go. Very good. Press E to interact with the passage. All right. Well, I mean, there's the tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? How's it going, Cherokee? How's it going, Lynn? How you doing, Joe? N uh, Natalie? Ainworth? Mel? ES? How you doing? Uh, glad to see gameplay in this. I played No Place Like Home from the same creators and love the cleaning part. Very, very good. Hey, Q, how you doing? Hey, Preem, how's it going? Finished making supper just as you came back. Oh, very good. So we we kind of like use our, our heads here, right? And be like, all right, you know, we have to uh, find ways to clean the nature, right? So can we suck this garbage up or do we need to actually suck the water to, to get this going here? There we go. Okay, maybe. There we go. Maybe we have a full tank of gas. All right. 
shoot it up. There you go. That's that's how we do it. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Lightus. Lightus, is that you say your name? Lightus? 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 Hey, Lynn. Even the models look the same? Yeah, no place like home. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. There we are. Very, very cool. What the heck is that? I guess something for this. So 10 trash to put in here, which we will do. That will give us two coins, I guess. What about this? Oh, loot all. Well, there's nothing in there. <laughs> all right. I wonder if we can use that as storage or something. And then maybe do a little bit of this. Nice. Cool. So this is going to be, for the most part, I think, uh, just like a nice, relaxing, bring nature back to its former glory type game. Very peaceful. All right. I like it so far. Hey, Rob, how you doing? Hey, Susie T, how you doing? Really excited to see this game. I love No Place Like Home, so I'm hoping this will be as good. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hey, Riley, how you doing? Hey, Amanda, how you doing? Susan, how's it going? Pat, how you doing, Pat? Shoddy, what's going on, Shoddy? Finish making supper, very good. Oh, yeah, I just read that. I'm an idiot. Never mind. Disregard my, my face here. All right, so, yeah. It's going to be a nice, relaxing, uh, chilled out stream today. I feel like this is kind of cool. It almost reminds me of like the uh, the power wash simulator kind of thing going on. Now I'm not gonna compare the two, but that, that, that that's kind of what it reminded me of for the most part. Yeah. Oh, oh, picking up some dirty water here too. I love games like this. Yeah, a lot of people are uh, fans, right? Are, are absolutely fans of uh, cleanups, easy, peaceful cleanups kind of games, right? Um, satisfaction, right? I guess that's the way to put it. Like, uh, like, like I, I'll probably reference Power Wash Simulator quite a bit just because it's, you know, uh, it's, it's satisfying to clean something up, right? And in this case, it's satisfying to clean something up and then restore nature, which is actually really cool. And the art style, I mean, the art style, I, I kind of, I like, I like the art style for sure. Yeah. Hey, Tori, how you doing, Tori? How are you doing on this beautiful day, Tori? Yeah. There we go. We'll do this. Grab a little bit of this. What, is, what the heck is that? What is that? Looks like another, some sort of a toolbox or something. We have like a fish going on too. We have a couple of things like a toolbox, uh, a, a crate full of stuff. We have a fish. We have a ton of garbage that we're picking up too as well. Make sure we get all of it. And then obviously bring the trees back to life too. There we are cool it's kind of cool no place like home had a robot enemies you had to kill so it'll be interesting to see if there's anything similar yeah i don't know if there will be anything um like like uh like enemy mobs or anything like that i don't know what kind of approach this game is taking um i kind of saved myself i didn't read too much into it other than like you know from face value which i was like oh yeah this seems kind of cool right because i want to see like I want to be surprised for the first time. And that's usually how I run my games here on the channel. Is I like to be surprised for the first time. Kind of enjoy it together and see where, where it can take us. So yeah, I don't know if there will be like enemy mobs or something like that. You know, I am intrigued. Now that you bring it up, I am definitely intrigued. Look at that. Love the greenery. And only 17%. Now, this, uh, this version of the game... Uh, will only take me to a certain point. I don't know how many hours it will take for me to get to that point. I don't know if this will be like a one thing. Um, I have been noted that once I get to the train, that is the end of our journey. Um, until the game releases, and then because it's going to be an early access, they're going to have uh, content updates and, and, and things like that. So, yeah, I'm interested to see how far that actually takes us. There we go. Hey, Spooky... Oh, wait. Spooky Bones. I think now you changed your name on me. Now you switched it up. <laughs> Is that a fish cookie at the bottom of the screen? I, it looks like a like a, some kind of freaking cookie. I don't know what the fish is for. Some kind of animal cookie? <laughs> I hear a train, though. I hope it doesn't come through here. Maybe that's where I'm at. It's like I'm trying to clean this area up, right? I should probably be taking this dirty water instead, right? Trying to clean this uh, area up so that the train can actually get to where it needs to go. I'm glad I went with the water upgrade, even though I'm kind of wasting a little bit of water here. I mean, but we have an infinite 
amount of source right there. So there we go. Now, how do you know when you get more crafting skills? Is it just based off of currency? It might be just based off of currency. So for instance, if I wanted to, I guess I could craft that now, 50 gold. I can't. And then sprint longer, 50 gold. All right, so we have all three of our uh, skills, I guess, purchased. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it may be a snack for cleaning. Yeah, for all the hard work you put in. You have to water the flowers in brown grass or no? I don't know. I'll give it a try though. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Oh, it looks like it. Oh my God, that was a flower. Hello. I mean, that's a flower right there that just kind of sp spawned up. Maybe you do. Yeah. Aha. Yes. What about the grass? Yes. Okie dokie, Arda freaking chokey. I'm about it now. Let's make this place look pretty. Hey, Anis, how you doing? What about this grass? Is this grass good? I don't want to waste all my water. Maybe certain grasses. Maybe not all grasses, but certain grasses. There we go. Very cool. Ah, it looks so good. Um... This tiny little bit, right? No, that, that won't go. Let me just see if in case I like missed on something. Like this for an example. I missed this completely. Let's definitely bring this back up, shall we? Right? This is this should be a grassable, waterable thing. Yeah, there you go. Gives us some more money. Yeah. So the more you restore, right? Obviously, the more you restore, the more money you get, the more skills you can obtain. Yeah. Skill tree is definitely a new twist. It is, isn't it? I had a hundred I had about a hundred and fifty uh, excuse me what oh 150 hours on power wash simulator can I get right there there you go on power wash simulator so I think this is gonna be another one I like very cool yeah so this is um this is gonna be um like I said I'll, I'll kind of redo it here again um early access October 11th and will be what is it and will be I don't know how much it's gonna cost I, I don't have that information unfortunately I was not given that information, but, um, oh, can I get that? There we go. But we'll have continued, uh, release content after obviously early access. I don't know how long they're going to be in early access for. Uh, that was also information I was not given either, but, um, yeah, I wonder what kind of different worlds they would bring in, right? What kind of different worlds they could like bring to the game? There we go. Hey, not given. How you doing? Here we are. And then finish that up over there. I wonder how far our thing can reach. Whoa. No, none of this. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> I guess not that. There you go. Kind of cool. Now, I'm going to be interested when we do get the, like, final cutscene, right? To see the final cutscene as it goes, comes back through again. That's going to be cool to see. Here we are. Can I get that thing up there? No. The music is exactly exactly the same as No Place Like Home. I wonder, it'd be cool, like, I don't know if there's, like, different, like, if there's, like, a specific world in No Place Like Home. Well, what if they kind of, like, brought them in together? You know what I mean? Like, kind of cross it into each other here on this game. That'd be kind of spicy now, now, wouldn't it? I just smacked my microphone with my drink. My bad. Oh, look at this. Oh, what is that? Look at that flower. Okay, so I'll give you one chance, game. You'll get one chance. If you have a sunflower in this game, I'll give you a 10 out of 10. I'll give you a 10 out of 10 if you have a sunflower in this game. Okay? Ten out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. There you go. <laughs> uh, that was too easy, wasn't it? It was way too easy. Absolutely. Way too easy. Wait a sec. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I, I wasn't ready to do the bush yet. Uh, I was just trying to clean the trash here first. Oh, look at that. Another toolbox of some sort. 
Is my cup big enough? Uh, maybe. Possibly. Maybe not too big enough. <laughs> what game did I play earlier? Uh, we played, uh, we played Hoko Life. Yeah, we played Hoko Life earlier today. Hey, Linda, how you doing? Linda says, I enjoy the vacuuming, etc. In, in No Place Like Home. Um, but I could only play it for an hour at a time. Game made me seriously motion sick slash headache, no matter what I tried with the settings. Now, okay, that brings up a good point. Uh, this is something I don't really understand. Not the motion sickness, because I understand that. But what I don't understand is what they are trying to do in the settings. I didn't quite understand it. Maybe chat can help me with this. So when you come into graphics, right? Um, there's a tab for motion sickness, which I'll be the first to tell you. I have never seen a setting say motion sickness before. But motion sickness they show here is for the FOV. Which, again, doesn't really make sense. Um, are they suggesting that the motion sickness is caused by FOV? And that you have to adjust your FOV for your motion sickness to not to be cured or I, I'm really not sure what this actually means. So they have a tab that says motion sickness, but FOV is what the heck? What is FOV? FOV is like the field of view. So for instance, um, I'll show you. Uh, watch this. I'm going to crank it up to 120, right? Okay, so you see how everything is like very like zoomed out. You see how the handle is kind of clipped off? That's 120 FOV. And then 30 FOV, everything will be kind of in my face now. <laughs> you see that? There's the there's the 30. <laughs> I like to run it personally. I run games on 90 FOV. That's the way I go. But I don't I don't understand that. Uh, motion blur motion blur can definitely make people sick motion sickness anytime there's a motion blur in a game i always turn off motion blur i don't like motion blur that much anyways but when it that was my first time actually seeing motion sickness associated with an fov um as a solution i guess i don't know like you would think there would be more options for a motion sickness solution but I, i'm really not sure this is going to take three of those. I only have one of those. Hey, Sim. How you doing, Sim? Hey, Metallica fan. How you doing? Yeah, you see that? You saw see how different that was? Or how different it was? Kind of crazy. It wasn't the FOV. It was the movement of your character. So then, I wonder if... if a Because... No place like home is a third person, right? Third person. So, if first person would be better, maybe. Was there first and third person in no place? Uh, no, uh, no place like home. I need more water. Typically, if you lower the uh, FOV, it will minimize the tunnel effect of large FOV, which is, makes you feel nausea. Is that what it is? Okay, so see, I, I, I don't know. I don't know this. I don't know these things because I don't like have motion sickness like that when it comes to the first person games. But uh, that's interesting. So I guess you would want a you would want a lower FOV, correct? Correct? Yeah, I think so. This takes five of that to rebuild? Okay, cool. By the way, hello, Crazy Ivan. Why Why give you the option? Most of the time, uh, most, F, most FPS games, they give you the option. It's like a standard now. Yeah. You can also... Um, you can also turn down the mount sensitivity to make your movement slower. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Might be nice for me, though. Um, I have an ultra-wide screen, so a bigger FOV by default. Very good. Very good. I've never tried any... I've never seen or I've never tried or I've never operated ever on a wide screen. They look really good, though. They look really good, the wide screens. No, no clue, but I can watch people stream the game and not get it, get ill. 
Interesting. That is interesting. That's very interesting. Motion blur always messed with my eyes and it was hard to focus and see. So I always turned it off and there was no, uh, no third POV I recall. Okay. Okay. Yeah, usually with motion blur, I just... Um, I mean, I don't mind it. I don't like it that much, but I don't mind it. I can, like, if a game had to be motion blurred, like, if that was just part of its game, like, I'd be like, okay, I'll deal with it. But anytime in, like, a context, like a, a video format or stream format, if there's an option to turn it off, I always uh, turn it off. Just because people watching videos and things like that, um, they can definitely, it can definitely mess with them type thing. Our eyes can see around 180 degrees. Uh, game set their FOV uh, on the size of your screen in the distance you sit from. If you if this is uh, misaligned, then it can cause motion sickness. Ah, I see. That's a better explanation. I can't do motion blur. No other uh, FP uh, first person games does this to me though. At least once so far that I've come across. Okay. Okay. Hey, Adi, how you doing? Cheers, indeed. Well, what the heck's going on up here? Look at this. You already got nice uh, pots and plants. Plants and pots here. Oh, my God. Look. <laughs> they couldn't put any trees down there? It looks so, so bland. It looks so plain down there. My Lord. All right. <laughs> Hey, Queen, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hey, Queen, big shout out to you, by the way. 16 months. 16 months of a member. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Thank you very much, Queen. Pick up this dirty, dirty, dirty water. Hey, Colin, how you doing? Are you a Buffaloes fan, Colin? I'll probably give this one a try as I enjoy the concept. Not the dev's fault. I have a unique issue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it, you know. We're all built different, you know. We're all built different. It looks like a far drop, yeah. <laughs> For sure. How much was this? Five? Was it five to build this? Yeah, five. So we have four. Almost, if I can get over there. Yeah, this is where the train's gonna sit at. I think this is the train station. Yeah, so there, there we go. We have four now. This might be a very short... I don't know. This might be a short stream. This might be like... Possibly a 30 minute, 40 minute stream. I don't know how long this game's gonna last. It's not gonna be a three hour stream. I, I can't imagine. But we're gonna be here for the for the ride and see where it takes us, I guess. Thank you, Queen. That was very sweet of you. I can't imagine this will take us to three hours, but you know, we'll we'll see what happens. Oh, you're a big Josh Allen fan? The guy's got a hell of an arm, I tell you what. My brown's lost. <laughs> Is that something you've just been accustomed to for like the past decade though? <laughs> no shade to the browns, but good God. Queen is a veteran. Yeah, Queen is a veteran member. Absolutely. Hey, thank you very much, Sassy. Sassy with the re-up. Thank you very much, Sassy. On two months. Yeah, two months. How awesome is that? Thank you very much, Sassy. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well, Sassy. Oh, baby. Any more water? Okay, let's 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 go back here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your your response to that um, is is like uh, you know after week one. Oh, there's always next year. <laughs> Every year. Oh, after week one, there's always next year. I think what we're are we in like week three already in in football? Is it three already? Three or four? We might be in the fourth week already, right? My lord.
How come there's no emoji for the beautiful uh, misses? Um, there's a reason. There's a reason. Uh, and, and very short, short, short uh, explanation is protection. That's why. Me, me being protective in, in, in a sense. That's the very, like, very, very, very short end of the stick I could give you. I mean, I could, I could explain it to you, but it might take a while. There's a cat! Might take a while. This game reminds me of yeah, <laughs> no place like home. No place like home has was a very long game which they expanded over time. I don't know how long that game came out in early access, right? Is it still in early access or no? Hey Jacob, how's it going, Jacob? First time, first live stream I can catch. Well. First time talking to you. How's it going there, Jacob? How you doing? I love the Little Caesar uh, commercial with Matthew Stafford. Nope. No chance of boss battle in this game. Unless... I, unless you're... Maybe... I, maybe the maybe the train is the boss battle in this game. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just uh, pushing this out so that I can uh, repair this train station. It seems like I need a wire. I don't think I have a wire either. No, no wire. But there is a cat, so I am interested. Let's see. I have some money on me. Maybe I can do something here. Uh, what is this? The water stream washes and restores objects faster in the wider area. Yeah, let's do that. Let's buy that. And, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll save up money for the rest. Let's go ahead and suck this water up here. How's it going, Margaret? Concept is good. Execution needs work. I liked what, uh, what they've done in No Place Like Home a bit better. Well, uh, if you're comparing this, we, we should, okay, so hang on a sec. We should not be comparing this to No Place Like Home, though. Um, and this is this is this is very 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 early access too. So I hate I hate to judge games based off of um, uh, early access. So um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So okay. No place like home is is full is fully finished. So they are full release on that one. Hey, Crazy Cajun. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Dolly's Creek. How's it going, Dolly's Creek? Finally caught alive. But I will be working and lurking. Working and lurking, baby. How you doing? Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Dolly's Creek. Appreciate it. And uh, good to see you. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I agree, Jacob. That is a that, that game is a is a massive grind. Massive grind indeed. <laughs> massive grind. And that was before the patches. I tell you what, that was before the patches, before the updates and things like that. <laughs> no pun intended with a grind. <laughs> hey sassy mom, how you doing, sassy mom? I loved No Place Like Home until they redid the whole story. They redid the whole story? Wait, in early access, they went from early access, they, they just like totally redid the whole story? Is that right? Oh, I can get this now. Let's do it. Hey, look at that. Repair the clock. XP. Quest finish. Okay, cool. Nice. Good job? Question mark? Hooray. It is looking nice, though. I don't know if I said hi to you, Lynn, yet. Hello, Lynn. Yeah, yeah. You usually I I I I, I wait, right? Because um, believe it or not, early access games are good, and then some early access games might come really premature. Uh, it all depends, right? It all depends. Um, you know. It all depends. We just have to see where it takes everyone. 
you know uh one thing about like power wash simulator power wash simulator released and um uh it, it, it was it was people liked it it was popular and then like once it like started to go full release that's when it like blew up you know and some people just really like games where you can sit back and and for instance if if, if i wasn't streaming this would probably be a game where you just sit back you go through some levels burn out some levels clean up a few things while on the other side or somewhere you know be watching youtube kind of something like that this is this is a kind of game where you just definitely kind of zone out in and and it, it, it's okay to have games where we can zone out in right you know uh games to zone out on uh you know numbing the brain so to speak it's almost like kind of reading sometimes you know you zone out on like maybe a book you've read a hundred thousand times before but it kind of puts you at ease relaxes you maybe puts you at a sleep type thing you know you never know however you however you take it hey pamela how you doing I think this is supposed to have a whole different concept than No Place Like Home. Seems like uh, they took the cleaning part of it and made it a game. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, right? Kind of a different approach, right? I think uh, a lot of success from Power Wash Simulator might have been an influence here, but yeah. Hey! Zombie Slayer! Thank you very much for the super chat, or super sticker, one of the, one or the other. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the 10. That was kind of you. Big ups. Big ups indeed. Thank you very much. That was very generous of you. Very kind. Hope you're doing well, Zombie Slayer. Yeah. Thank you for that. Appreciate that a lot. There we go. We're, all, we're already at 88%. Right? 88%. There's nothing over here I can, like, actually, like, grow. It doesn't seem like. Can I fix this? Oh, I guess it does fix when you get the wire, right? Do we have the wire? No, we do not have the wire. Alright. Let's go this way. Uh. You also said hello, but but <laughs> but please keep doing so. <laughs> Be a good game to to play while I listen to an audiobook. Yeah, see exactly. There you go. Yeah, exactly. I got burn, burned on Journey of Life. The devs are not doing anything else to that game. I've never heard of Journey of Life. What is Journey of Life? What is Journey of Life? Hey, Tech Gaming, how you doing? I play a zone out game called Dwarf. Oh, no, I know. I know what game that is, Pamela. Yeah, I know what game that is. That's a fun game, though. It is. It's an easy game to play, I guess you could say. Yeah. Zone out on it. I know what you're talking about. Uh, Danielle, get the drop. Uh, no, that that the Danielle, that 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 is a situation where it's like a uh, it, it's a it's a long process type thing. Yeah, it's a long process type thing. It's performance based. It's a survival game. It's a survival game. Yeah. 423 dollars we can get some some more skills into this yeah hey yo see what i can get here power stream the water stream washes and restores objects faster in a wider area 350 give it to me i'm in it oh look at that it's a bit yeah that's a fat one right there hell yeah dude Hey, Mickey. Mickey says, hey, been lurking here for a while. You keep enticing me with these games. I would never have thought of playing like this one. Relaxing uh, games are great for coming down off of stressful shooters. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> stressful shooters sometimes, right? Absolutely. But I'm one of the people that do enjoy myself a shooter, you know, or any, 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 you know. But sometimes it's always nice to, um, you know, uh, kick back and, um, and do something else i i love the comment i love the comment on like playing this game and listening to an audiobook that's pretty good uh playing this game and listening to a podcast playing this game and listening to a forehead stream you know 
all these different things. I love all these uh, ideas here. Yeah. Hey, Tina Rice. How you doing? Now, this is obviously a cat. <laughs> Cat has a cat and 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 a cat house. House and the cat, cat house. There you go, buddy. How you like that? He has his luggage and everything. He's ready to go. Oh, he has a hat! You son of a gun! You have a hat and I give the fish to you? Oh my god! Yeah! There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stretch it out. There you go. Very good. Happy cat. Oh my god. <laughs> that sold it right there. The, the... All right, time to go buy the game now, October 11th, because the cat wears a hat. That's it. That's it. That's it. 10 out of 10 again. 10 out of 10. And the sunflowers, 10 out of 10. You're doing it all, game. You're doing it all. Great job. Great job indeed. <laughs> I want that cat to travel to another, uh, another level with us and, and things like that, right? All right, we can build this now. There we go. Oh, I think that's it, right? I don't know. We've restored nature. How do you like them apples? Look at that. Very cool. What do we have here? What is this? Finish quest and restore nature to 100% first. Okay. So we have to make sure we restore nature to 100%. We're only at 96%. So there's a few things that we are uh, that we're missing on here. Hey Natalie, how you doing? Now I need it. Okay, so 96. Okay, so this is Oh wait, we need to do this. That's why. This is the rail, uh, rail, uh, crossing. I don't know what the heck they're called. Cross guards. Is that what they're called? Cross guards. I don't know what they're called. There we go. It was the cat in the hat. There's no doubt about that. Look at that. All right. So the cross guard, I guess, is, is, is ready to go. So now I just got to figure out what the last 4% of nature is. Oh, or... A bunny! Yeah! Look at that! Okay. Very cool. What just happened? Nature level up. 100 XP. What is happening here? There's a sunflower right there. There we go. There's 97%. Can I talk to the cat? Oh, you can pet the cat. Quest finish. Help the cat conductor. That's <laughs> cat conductor. Oh, so good. So good indeed. The cat conductor. Oh, okay. There's our quest. So, um, help the cat conductor. Have done. Clean places with dirty water. Main quest. Repair train station and pull the railway switch. Can I repair or can I pull it now? Or we have to do a hundred, right? Yeah, 100% first. Okay. There's a sunflower I missed. That take us to 98%? Yeah. That does not. Okay. Uh, can I touch the bunny? Okay, don't water the bunny. <laughs> does this game have controller options? I don't know. Let's see. Let's test it out. Should we? I'm going to pull up my controller. Let's see. It seems like it does. I'm playing on my Xbox controller. Might need a little bit on the controller configuration. Oh, there's another bunny. I need to figure out controller configuration, but it does technically work. I don't know what the um, what the controller map or the controller mapping would be. Here we go. Get some of this trash that's laying about. I feel like there's something this way that I need to do, but maybe not. Let's start from the front and then let's work our way through again. Yeah, let's do that. Where we started and work our way through. That bush came out of nowhere. That was not there before. Uh, oh, God. Hey. 
That gave us a lot of money, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay, so we started here. We work our way down. Right? We've done all this. There's another bunny. Good to see. Uh, uh, uh. Just wanted to make sure. This would probably be the hardest thing about this game. Is then trying to find that little, little, little 3%. There we go. There's a sunflower there. There we are. Does not change it. The percentage. F. Oh, right here. There we go. There's 98%. Maybe we got to check some of these bushes out. Tree? No. Flower? No. No. Oh, there we go. Look at that. There you go. That's it, baby. There you go. 98%. Hit me good. There you go. There you go. Good job. Anything over here? Touch it more. Hey, Swamp Dog, how you doing? <clears throat> I don't know whether I should I should love you or hate you for putting me on some simulator games. Uh, there's some crazy cool simulator games out there. I mean, some of them, you know, it depends. You, you, you got to be mindful, but uh, there's some pretty cool ones out there for sure. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to go through all these bushes. So many cute... Oh, look at this. It's a lineup of freaking sunflowers, I tell you. There you go. 98% still. 99. 100% pure. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> so close. So close. So freaking close. Okay, we'll come back this way. Give me some more water. We got to get more water. Made by the same devs as the... Uh, made by the same devs as No Place Like Home. It's it's nice that they created a game to appeal who did not like the combat. But they're totally different games, right? I mean, a, a, a game... I, I think No Place Like Home... Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Isn't it like a farming life kind of game? Is it kind of like My Time at Porsche or Sandrock or anything like that? Is that like the best way to kind of like compare it? Ah, stop quoting Wonka. Damn it, you got me. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Oh, no, no, no. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Birds? Birds now? There's birds? Okay, birds. Okay, very well. Uh oh, another one? There's birds? There's a what the frick? A duck? Mama Goose? Golden Egg? Huh? Veruca? Whoa, it's green now. Oh, it's super green now. The grass is all green. Wow. Cool. Wow, look at that. That worked out. <laughs> That's, yeah, it is now super, super green. Now, I know it says 99%, but, I mean, would you take that? Congratulations, you have completed the map. Uh, thank you. Now the train? I guess 99% is good for 100%. That could really confuse people if they were playing this game. Are you going to play Sandrock at some point? Uh, you mean like again? Uh, there's the train. No, we still have to bring 100% first? Oh my lord. Okay, what are we missing then? What's, what's, what's one thing that we're missing? Uh, bunny there. Wait a sec. Okay. So we're st they still want us to do 100%. Right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll try my best. I'll try my best. That's all I'll say. Dude, the duck is so cute. Is it a duck or is it a goose? Can I touch you? Everything's getting looking so much better, though. Can 
I'm lucky to almost have my birthday so I can ask for this game if it's not too expensive. Looks like a nice, relaxing game. Yeah, and and if, if you if you really do like this game, I don't know, again, I don't know how much, oh, it's right there. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but uh, just be mindful that uh, this, what you see in today's stream might be the only thing that they have at early access until they update the game more. So just be wary of that. That's 100% now. That's 100%. Duck, duck, goose. Oh my god, I love steak. Same. Oops, have you played Sandrox? I didn't see it in your... Oh, yeah, yeah. I have played Sandrock, yeah. Similar to my time at Sandrock. It's like a farming game that involves restoring the land. Uh, okay, so, I mean, here we go, right? Finish quests and restore nature to 100% first. I think I did. I think this is where it ends. Map completed, right? Nothing else on the on the on the thing. Train station and pull the railway switch. Yeah, we did all that. Well, I I, I think we did it. Yeah, I believe in the email I got. Um, the developer said that once the train arrives, that's where your journey ends. So the train has arrived. So I think that's where the journey ends. <laughs> Regardless. <laughs> um, yeah. I think this is it. It needs a hint system. Otherwise, could get frustrating if you if you can't find that last percentage. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Hey, Cassie, how you doing? So, um, yeah, I think... Uh, let me just save it just to double check. I think this is this is going to be mostly it. And today's uh, look at of, of, you know, fresh start. Not too bad, right? Trash, the trash exchange still says. Wait, what do you mean? Trash exchange still says. Oh, yeah, it, it still says. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Short games aren't bad. Yeah, and this and this is just an early look at, right? Just an early build. So, um, October 11th, I will say this has, when it comes out in early access, October 11th is probably the worst, one of the worst times to come out, in my opinion. No disrespect to the to the publishers releasing on October 11th, but you have a lot of competition going up on October 11th. Um, I'll just say that, right? There's a lot of games coming out October 11th and October 12th. Uh, you know one of the biggest games this month drops on October 11th for this channel. That being uh, Coral Island. Coral Island drops on the same day this drops. So you got to make a decision which one you you, you, you rather uh, you rather buy, right? Uh, if you had to choose between two games. If not, then yeah, it's fine. But uh, yeah, I mean, look at what we got here. Very cool. Grassy looking good. Yeah. Looking very good. I mean, the cat with the hat kind of sells it, too. The cat with the hat and the luggage on top. I think one thing I'm getting from this is I want more. That's what I'm getting from this. I'm like, I want to go to the next mission. I want to see the next creative thing that they have. I want to see. I want to restore another, like, something, another town. I will say, this game is definitely itching me to want more. Um, we just don't have that yet. Just, just, like, give me more. That's all I ask for, I think, right? Yeah, that's all I asked for. I do hope it has more when the early access comes out. I And I don't have information on that. I don't know if there will be more at early access or if there will be more after early access. Like as in like uh, through its journey in early access, they'll add things here and there and things here and there and all that. So uh, yeah, very much so. Anyways, um, ladies and gentlemen, that has been this. That has been it. That has been today's stream. Hope you guys enjoyed this look at Fresh Start Cleaning Simulator. If you guys liked what you see, make sure to add it to your wish list. Hit the like button. Um, and this shows a lot of people what this game is all about. Especially with the Steam Next Fest coming up. We do have Next Fest coming up, so people are going to be interested, maybe. And uh, seeing more about this. October 11th is when it does release. So make sure to pick this game up if you really, really like what you saw in today's episode. I had a good time. I will have to say I had a good time. I just want more. 
it, flat out. I just want more. So anyways, <laughs> thank you all so much for that. I appreciate that and appreciate you hanging out with me. I, you know, I, sometimes I don't know what where it takes us. I don't know how long time would take us on some games. This is one of those games that I didn't realize would take less than an hour. And, and here we are, right? But uh, regardless, I guess we'll be back at it again tomorrow. Uh, stream tomorrow. We will be streaming uh, Slime Rancher in the morning, finishing that up, hopefully, and then looking at Potion Permit for the afternoon. And then uh, on Tuesday, we will be looking at Wildflowers, going back to Wildflowers. Anyways, it's been a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Cute little game indeed. Hopefully, uh, I will talk to you uh, tomorrow. And uh, hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your Sunday evening, morning, day, afternoon, wherever you may be. And I will talk to you very, very soon. And do as always, take care. <laughs>